Hi, I'm Brian Vincent, Engineering Performance Manager for Airlift Company, and uh, we want to put a little video together for you guys today to illustrate the performance of the new Autopilot V2 control system that we've developed. Uh, it's a pressure-based system, and a lot of people have the idea that pressure-based systems cannot be accurate because, quite frankly, there haven't been many that have been very accurate up to this point. We're going to go through a little exercise with uh, Mazda 3 here. I'm going to show you that it hits heights consistently to a preset, and the corner weights also stay consistent every time you adjust a preset. So we'll go through that and uh, give you guys a chance to see how it all works. All right, we're going to begin our exercise today with our Mazda 3 test vehicle here. It is sitting on our alignment rack, which has slip plates, and on top of those, the corner weight scales that we're going to use to illustrate that the vehicle repeats its position, corner weighting, and height very effectively with this pressure-based system. So we're going to start at zero PSI. I'm going to have my lovely assistant Ian hit the first preset. Now we're going to watch the car go up to its preset and then we're going to take a look at the corner weights and measure the ride heights and then we're going to do it a second time and show that it is very repeatable. Go ahead Ian. We happy with that? Yep. You can see the corner weights listed there on the screen, and uh, most importantly is the cross weight at 50.77. We're going to measure the height. It is 560 millimeters in the front, and 566 millimeters in the back. All right, Ian, drop the car again, and we'll do the measurements one more time. Car is at zero PSI. Preset one. All right, you can see the corner weighting again, very, very close to the first time. Front ride height is 560, same as the first time. Rear ride height, 566. I would call that a pretty close match. So again, the point here is that with a very simple to install pressure-based system, you can achieve ride height consistently very similar, if not identical or better, than a height-based system. And uh, we appreciate taking the time to watch this video. Give us a call if you have any questions. All right, I wanted to show you guys just how simple the installation is with this new Autopilot V2. Essentially, you have manifold of computer, compressor, air tank. It's as simple as running your wiring harness to power and ground, hooking up your compressor power ground to the relay that's already in the harness, plug in the wiring for the controller, plug in the computer, plug in the airlines, which are in an integrated push to connect, Voila, you're done. Simple as that. It takes you about two hours.